Here's a story from a distant star about a planet called Zaponia, where the people cried and shook with fear, because the land was dry and the end was near. On an urgent mission to put it right, brave young Ziggy, day and night, searched through space till in view came a spinning world of green and blue. Welcome to Ziggy's Earth Adventure. And this is where it all begins in the world of science and earthling friends. Now, for those of you who didn't recognize that last Zooty tune, don't be ashamed. It's a new release from the Zarponian Zwito Zingers. Definitely future Zop Zen material. Now, if you're traveling on intergalactic route Z5 between Zorka and Zumslanda, take care. A Zetral tanker has jackknifed and traffic is more backed up than usual. So, we interrupt this report for a special transmission from Zarponia. Prime Councillor Zed Zandor calling Pot Controller Ziku. Calling Ziku. Come in, Ziku. Ziku? Ziku? Come in, Ziku. Ayo, Yaku, yo! Zaldi, Ziku. What on earth is that? Ayo, 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 ayo! What? Ayo, ayo, ayo! Hasso! Take that ridiculous thing off your face. I can't hear you. Well, sir, since the doctor said that I breathe in germs that made me ill, I thought I could wear this to prevent it. Interesting. Are you feeling any better? A lot better, thank you, sir. The medication the doctor gave me made me feel so much better. What's today's mission? Your mission on the last trip was difficult, yes. But you managed to gather some excellent information on health issues. Today, I'd like you to gather more information, but on pollution itself. We would also like you to investigate a method of making water more clean and pure for people to drink. Therefore, your mission for today is as follows. Investigate how water and air are polluted and whether there are any other forms of pollution. Then, show us how to make a simple filter that anyone can make. Very good, sir. Mission in progress. Over and out. Over and out. The first thing I need to know before I plan for today's mission is to find out what is meant by pollution. I know that coal fumes and smoke are air pollution and that fertilizer and human waste can cause water pollution. But can you please tell me more, Zillian? According to the Earthling Dictionary, pollution can be anything that is not naturally in the place where we find it. So I would be pollution here on this planet? Yes, Pot Controller Ziku. Very amusing. But it does mean something like that, although you're not harmful to this planet. Yet. I'm going to see if Vongi and Vali can help me. Time to activate Zoom and see what she can find out, please. As good as done, Pod Controller Ziku. Zoom, wake up. No, you're not pollution, Zoom. Don't worry. Only perhaps if they decide to scrap you. No, no such plan, Zoom. Scrap you? Never. Now get to work. Oh, such language. Zombie boy! Oh! That was a great scream. Probably your loudest yet. Funny, but not as funny as that mask you're wearing on your head. It's to prevent me from breathing any germs. What are you doing? I've just mopped our stoop and I want to throw away this dirty water. Oh, that looks polluted. No, it's just dirty water. I see. Your new mission for today is water pollution. Actually, all pollution. I need your help. We've learned about this recently at school. Let's see if I remember. Let's start with water pollution. Water pollution is when you find something in the water that's not supposed to be there. And it stops us from using the water as it should be. OK, I get it. Water pollution is anything that stops us from enjoying the natural use of water. And rivers shouldn't be filled with rusting tins or covered with oil and soap. Zoom, please get me some information on water pollution. And that water might be unpleasant or be harmful to somebody's health. That's right. 
So, if water pollution is finding something in the water that's not naturally meant to be there, that means that air pollution is finding something in the air that's not naturally meant to be there. Like my flu. Yes, like the car's exhaust fumes and the smoke from the factories. So I was right. The water in this bucket is polluted. No, it's just a bit of dirt from the stoop. Like the mud from the rivers. All rivers have mud. And it's easy to take out the mud from the river. How? A filter. A filter? Yes. The filter is to take dirt out of the water. You just pour the water and it takes the dirt out. I want to make a filter. Pongi, how do you make one? Yes, we can go and ask my teacher. She can be able to help you. Thank you, Pongi. I'm off later. Okay, bye. Zoom, welcome back. What were you able to find out? <laughs> yes, I see what you mean. It looks as if there's more than just air and water pollution. <laughs> Music? That? No. Rather give me a nice Zarponian Zaytoven. <laughs> Rap music? Oh no, Zoom, not you. <laughs> Zoom, concentrate on the mission. What next? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Are you Bali and Bongi's friend? Mm -hmm. How can I help you? I'm researching water pollution. I want to make a filter for water. Can you help me? Okay, let's see what you want. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, we can run water through this paper. This might work. Just like this mask I'm wearing to prevent me from breathing any, any germs. Okay, let's do that and see what happens. Right, I'm going to pour this water in this glass. There we go. Uh -huh. You just hold that so long. Thank you. And I'm going to put some of the sand in there. Let's see what sand. happens. Nice and dirty. <laughs> hold on to that while I take this little paper and put it into that funnel. There we go. And now I'm going to use that and I'm going to pour it in there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. If I pour, you just hold that so long. Okay. And I'll pour some of this water in there. Let's see what happens. Open up, open up. Open up. Oh, look, that's oh. clean. <laughs> okay, let's throw everything in. <laughs> let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. There we go. <gasps> oh no, it's dirty. That's not much good. Okay, well, uh, what else do you think we should use? I've got a clue. Mm -hmm. You find it on the beach. Sand! Yes! You can use fine sand mm -hmm. to remove coarse sand. <laughs> that sounds very really funny. How do we do that? Okay, let me show you. I'll use the sand filter. You see? The sand lies at the bottom of the filter. So as the water filters through the sand, it leaves dirt behind and the water that's clear goes up through the pipe. Very clever. But what if the sand gets in the pipe and prevents the water from getting out? You're right. I think we should first remove all the impurities in the water. You know, the bigger ones first and then the smaller ones. That sounds a bit slow to me. Isn't there a way we can do all the steps all together? You're very impatient. You're just like most human beings. That's why we have different kinds of filters. Now let me show you the filter that I've made. Come closer, you see? At the bottom, in this neck, is cotton oil. The layer on top is fine river sand. The layer on top is coarse sand. And the one on top is fine gravel or small stones. And by the time it comes out of the pipe, the water should be as clean as can be. As you can see, I've poured this dirty water inside this uh, pipe and it's passing the stones, the gravel, the coarse sand, the fine layer of sand and the cotton oil and it's moving down this pipe. Can you see? The water is clear and it's 
pouring into this container. That's very clever. That means I can make one out of everyday objects. Yes, as a project, some children made their own water filters. This looks very easy to make. On Zarponia, we could use ZZ Cola bottles. They look just like that. Where? Oh, nothing. The sand filter seems to be working. But there's something the doctor told me last week that keeps bothering me. He said the water is clean looking. But can you always see the bad stuff? How about bacteria or germs? They could be cholera germs in the water. Or they could be germs from human waste. This seems really unpleasant. How can we get rid of them if we can't see them? You know, that's a very important point. You know, even although the water is clear and it looks clean, it doesn't mean we can just drink it. We need to purify the water. How do you do that? Okay, so let me show you. There are living germs, and if they are alive, we can also kill them. So we need something that can kill live germs. Exactly. Like bleach. <laughs> it's used to kill germs like cholera. Boy's mother uses bleach to keep the clothes white. <laughs> Well, that's right. Well, come here. Let me demonstrate. Now, I'm going to take this petal, you see, and I'm going to put petal number one in this container, okay. petal number two, the orange one in container number two. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into my bleach and I'm going to put some bleach on these petals and see what happens. Drops onto the one, drops onto the mm -hmm. second one, there we go, you see? Now this should change colour very easily and very soon. So if the bleach can change the coloured petals and make it lose its colour, then it must be very powerful. Yes, bleach is used as a disinfectant to kill germs. This seems like something that we can use to make water pure and clean. How much do we need? Well, we actually need 15 millilitres of bleach as well as 20 litres of water. Now, 15 millilitres of bleach is one teaspoonful. Okay, and now, 20 litres, before you pour that in, 20 litres of water equals to 10 cool drink bottles. Now, you pour that in there. Let's see what happens. It must be very strong. Water can also be purified when boiled. Heat kills germs. Is there any other kind of pollution? I mean, is this something that we get too much of and that is not natural? Litter and rubbish is also a form of pollution. Noise is also a form of pollution. It's called noise pollution. And hot air that comes out of buildings and factories. Well, that's one of the, whew, that's one of the worst forms of pollution for planet mm -hmm. Earth. You know, the Earth cannot keep up with all the heat that it absorbs all the time. Mm -hmm. So what happens, the planet just becomes hotter and hotter. Hotter and hotter and hotter. Ziku calling Zandor. Come in, Zandor. Zau de Ziku. I hope you had fun on your mission today. Oh, yes. This has been a particularly successful day. We have all the information you requested. Well done. Zip it to me. We have discovered that water pollution is anything that stops us from enjoying the natural use of water as it is naturally meant to be, like rusting tins. Air pollution is anything that we find in the air that isn't naturally meant to be there, like car exhaust fumes and smoke from factories. Humans remove mud and dirt from water by pouring the water through a filter. You can make a filter by using a two liter cool drink bottle. First you turn the bottle upside down and then you cut it at the base. And then you put cotton wool at the neck and put fine layers of sand. First you put fine river sand and then coarse sand. And then you put fine gravel and then coarse gravel or small stones. It is very important to remember that even though the water looks clear and clean doesn't mean that you can drink it. The water may contain germs like cholera. Water should be purified. To purify water, you should put one teaspoon of bleach into 20 liters of water. Then leave it overnight so that the bleach smell could go away. This will certainly help us on Zaponia. See you soon, Ziku. Over and out. Over and out. Zowie, mission accomplished. Zia zoon, Zillian. 
Good night, good earth. Good luck, brave Zarponia. Yeah. 